Oh, it's about to go down. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, just let me go on record as saying that's the equivalent of him putting his dick down her throat. His name is Agazira. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla, and we're playing more Resident Evil 3. The remake, that is. And we're picking up the action where we left off in the last episode. We have made our way to the Moon Donuts restaurant. Nemesis has made his presence felt in a pretty big way up until this point in time. Hats off to Capcom for getting him involved this much. It's unreal. Just feels so good to be able to play this and experience it for what it is. Oh, oh, there we go! Get the zombie count up! Hang on, was that section open like that in the demo? I don't think it was. I know you're still alive too. Nice try, asshole! It's not going to work! Now, we've still got very limited spaces in our inventory, so we've got to play it smart here. No Mr. Charlie here, either. Nine to the left, three to the right, seven to the left, and that's the combination for that safe up in the building just across the way. Oh, yeah, I was trying to do No! I've got to get better at this dodge mechanic. But we're going to go up here. We're going to get access to this safe. And while we do that... If you have been enjoying Resident Evil 3 on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to hit that like button down below, and uh, if you're new to the channel, this is the type of thing you want to see more of, especially this ugly mug on your screen. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below as well. Pledge your allegiance to the gods who are nation in the process. Down you go, are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. We don't need to read that. Some gunpowder. Okay, so it was nine to the left. Three to the right. Seven to the left. Five, six, seven. Hey, presto, give me a piece for my gun. Beautiful. I mean, a red dot sight doesn't seem like much. And we've got to get rid of something, so we're going to make some shotgun ammo to prep ourselves for the fact that we're uh, so close to getting that shotgun. The big difference so far being the fact that there was no bolt cutters in the save room of Moon Donuts. Which is fantastic. You don't want to muck around by putting items in the exact same location that they were in the demo. But we're going to backtrack a little bit here. We're going to access our inventory. And we're going to put some things away just to make a little bit more space. Considering we don't have the bolt cutters yet, we know we can't get that shotgun, so there's no point running around with shotgun shells holding up a space in our inventory. But let's go see what we can get out of here. I can't wait for Jill to get her lockpick as well, because we've found a lot of locks, both in the demo and in the proper game, that look like it's going to require her lockpick to open them. It's the yellow kind of locks that we're seeing. All right, we've got the hose. We can put that fire out. We know, uh, picking up that... Th there's the lock right there. I was just talking about it. But in the demo, we know that picking up the hose, uh, triggers Nemesis to spawn outside the front of Moon Donuts. I'm wondering whether that's still the case. Because if it is, uh, we might be, uh, ready to throw down. This must be the subway company's offices definitely going to put this grenade to use because if we get an item for dropping Nemesis just like we did in the original, then it's going to be very beneficial. And considering we can't really truly defeat Nemesis like you could in the original, like you could do enough damage that he'd fall down 
it looks like he was dead, but then he just spawned in a different location. We know from the demo, the best we can do is knock him down to his knee for a period of time. I'd say prolonged, given the fact of how long he actually does stay down compared to other parts, but um, I'm definitely feeling that he's going to be outside making some minions. So let's, uh, yeah, let's put the knife away. Is he outside? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, there we go. There's a perfect dodge. Okay, so that's different. We've got the fire hose. And Nemesis hasn't spawned. We know in the demo, we know in the demo the bastard's hiding behind this brick wall, so I'm ready to throw down. There. Come on! Okay. No Mr. Charlie up there, no nemesis behind the wall. Oh, there's the bolt cutters though. Maybe Nemesis is going to wait. Is someone in here? If it was Nemesis, he wouldn't wait. He'd, he'd just come straight through. No chain on a door is going to be stopping Nemesis from coming through. Maybe he's going to do us a kind favor and wait for us to get the power back on. Can you be see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Come on, don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. Okay, no, 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 wait, please! No. Oh! No what hesitation. He was infected. He might have been infected. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, God, meet Nikolai. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the oh, subway oh, oh. station. We don't need a bleeding heart like you. He to is as away. big an asshole as he was in the original. Well, I'm going to take these shotgun shells. I don't think old mate's going to need his training log anymore. As always, when it comes to the files, guys, feel free to pause and read at your own convenience. Don't want to take up your time and my time sitting here and uh, reading through countless files. Let's put those away. I did that on purpose. We're trying to clear this one goddamn bullet. There we go. Oh, there's a nice little Easter egg from the original. Kind of in the background. The background. The back alleys of the original. Where you had that little kind of gate that dropped down and you had the crank that you could crank it open there was a drawing of train tracks and they've done it just here too that's a nice little nod I like that a lot okay what have we got here electrical generators throughout the city Well, we knew about that already. If, if we see any generators spitting sparks, we can shoot them in an electric cube. We know that from the demo. Come on, doggy. Oh, I didn't get both of them. No! Down, boy. Bad. Can we... I think the best course of action is to just run and dodge here. Bad puppies. We're right outside the power station as well, so... Oh, hang on. We've got the loading thing popping up in the corner. The last time we saw that loading thing pop up, Nemesis made his presence felt. I'm gonna have you hobbling around here, bitch. You two big chunkers, let's go. What do 
we got here? Gunpowder. We'll just leave them to their devices crawling around. Alright, what have we got in here? Another safe room. Oh, a hip pouch. There we go. That came just in the nick of time. Yeah, let's take a green herb. Activate the four breakers and then we activate the main power switch, okay? I'm assuming these are... This is a map that shows the locations of the four. Let's just get in there and find them ourselves. Oh, okay. Oh, smells like... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Is this where the brain demons are at? If you're unfamiliar with what a brain demon is, you're about to find out. They were the bane of my existence the very first time I played Resident Evil 3. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow this? Oh! Oh, you... Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, my God. I saw the little baby scamper out. What's inside? Oh, the master of unlocking just got her lockpick. Some more handgun ammo. Don't mind if I do. Right now, we're just going to get in there. By using our lockpick for the first time. Did you see that? Oh, it's about to go down! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, just let me go on record as saying that's the equivalent of him putting his dick down her throat. What the fuck just happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on with my screen? I have parasites in my system. Um... Ow! Alright, at least they're easy to kill. That's the main thing. Um, it's slowly draining my health though. How do I get rid of them? Okay, Jill. There we go. First one. We can do this. We can do this. There we go. Oh, I'm dying. Alright, she just spat out the parasite. So a green herb. So maybe just healing your health gets rid of them. That's something, that's something to remember. Don't you dare! Time to haul ass, Jill. We don't need to be here any longer. Oh, no! Get your dick out of my mouth! Goddamn bastards spreading their STDs. Oh, thank God for that. This is really intense. Like, in the original, when you meet the brain demons for the first time, it's in that little warehouse kind of district kind of thing where the elevator is. And you don't really have that much of a build-up, and you can take them down with a couple of shotgun, you know, shells. And they don't really play into factor all that much at all after that. But 
giving them their own designated area and seeing it like overran with all their shit. Like in the trailer, the images we saw, I could have sworn this was going to be like a spider den. Because it looked like it had like the webs hanging off of the poles and all of that. Don't hit me. Come on. Come on, you want you want to you want to go? Get out of here. Don't do it. Keep your nasty little penis parasites to yourself. Ow! Yeah, you better get out of here. Oh no! All right, we've got to find ourselves a uh, green herb and fast because we're in the caution. Ow! That's going to be de oh, we're so close to dying. Are we going to die? I feel like we're going to die. <coughs> oh! As awesome as that was... We're fucking dead! Okay, we're back at it. Come on. And we're just going to dodge and weave our way through. Come and get me now. I've clued on. Your boy knows what he's doing. Ow. Come on, guys. No need to run. Thank God for that. All that leaves is the main power switch. Let's get it turned on. Enjoy that. Down you come. See what I mean? It kind of looks like there's some spiderweb action going on up there, so you could, you know, accept the fact that people thought that that was going to be like spiders going on. Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One I know the building. Ahead. Not your partner. I know the exact building. We're going to make our way back to where the shotgun is, where we found the hose. Which is beneficial in more ways than one, because not only do we get the subway back online, but now that we've got the bolt cutters, we can get ourselves that shotgun. Do I go this way? Or do I go back the way I came? Why did it have a loading thing up there? Whoa! I knew you were going to be coming, you big bastard. Is he going to Spider-Man? No, he's not going to jump in front. Come on! Chase me now, you big fuck. Nice try. Online. I don't think he can come in here, which is a saving grace. What do we have in here? First aid spray. I'll take that. We're going to store it. We'll save those for later, because I know we're going to need them down the track. He's going to pop up again. Go on, where are ya? Yeah, I knew you were coming. Let's go. He's going to jump in front. He has to jump in front. Surely he's going to jump in front. Yeah, there he is. No, no, no. Alright, 
Alright, what's in here? While we've got the lockpick, we might as well just try to attempt to unlock everything that we know is around the area. Oh, okay. Alright. We're going to take both the grenades. I'm going to throw down here. I made mention before that in the original, if you could knock down Nemesis, he'd drop an item. Let's see if that's the case in this. Come on. I know the grenade's going to knock you. Get out the door, Jill. Oh, supply case. I, I, to I told you. Hopefully he can't get into the place that we're going. The little subway office. Let's just quickly take the time to... Uh... Clear these guys out. There should be some shotgun shells in that box over in the corner. No Mr. Charlie Bobblehead. And this guy would have woken up already. Good night. Oh, Nim Nim's here. Don't you dare kill me while I'm right outside. Get inside, Jill! Thank fuck. First things first, we've got a locker we can open here. Now, if RNG was on my side, there would be a first aid spray in this locker for me to spray on myself right now. Oh, the gods have smiled upon thee. What have we got here? Ooh, an extended magazine for the handgun. There we go. All about them upgrades, baby. All right, let's get the subway back online. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you gotta plot out a route. Okay, give me a sec. Now we're gonna get stuck into some puzzles that I'm sure I'm gonna completely suck at. Okay. All right, where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. Can you program that in? Hey, I'm Super Cop. Consider it done. All right, so I'm assuming that the... The tracks go one, two, three, then four. And the X's mean that we can't take that specific route. So we're going to have to go down to the second one, drop down to the third, and then drop down to the Unable fourth. Unable to establish route. Please, try again. I could have sworn I just did it right that time. God damn it! One eternity later. Hang on a minute. I can move those things as well? You are kidding. Okay, so we look for what links up. So we go the second one there. Then we've got Central in the middle. Raccoon Central. So is there an RC? Is that what we're looking for? I'm trying to link up the letters to the locations. That's St. Michael's Clock Tower, so SA. Valid route confirmed. Oh my god! Carlos, it's me. I finished him putting the subway room. Chill, you are amazing. Tough as nails, too. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. That puzzle admittedly took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Did my head in. However, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode. I think it's the perfect time to do so. Subway's back online. Nemesis is waiting outside. Shit is about to get real. If you guys enjoyed this video, I made mention of it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting myself, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you happen to be new to the channel, and this is the type of content you like to watch, and you enjoy what I'm throwing down, 
Hit that subscribe button, pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. Hit that little bell next to it as well so you get notified every single time something brand new goes down on the channel. If you missed the first episode, I will link it in the description down below. That will also be paired with my social media links. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, go do so. It'd be hugely appreciated. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.